What do Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton, and Cristiano Ronaldo have in common? According to this man, they all fall under the category of genius. Now, if you place all these individuals in a room and made them take an IQ test, Ronaldo probably wouldn't score high, but in order to define genius and explore how Cristiano Ronaldo fits into this definition, we can turn to the perspective of Friedrich Nietzsche, a renowned philosopher who discussed the concept of genius in his works. Nietzsche viewed genius as an exceptional individual who possesses a combination of innate talent, creative power, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Ronaldo has not only accomplished these things on the pitch, but the way Ronaldo has positioned himself off the pitch has allowed him to become one of the most famous people not only to play football, but to grace the planet. The first step to Ronaldo's genius is simple. Keep the main thing the main thing. This is another way of saying do not be distracted by the noise which comes with being a superstar football player. We've seen many players in the past be distracted by women, fame, drugs, and alcohol, which ultimately stopped them from reaching their full potential or cutting their prime short. Paul Gascoigne struggled with alcohol abuse. Ronaldinho enjoyed the party life, and Balotelli erratic behavior off the pitch overshadowed his on-pitch contributions. Ronaldo, on the other hand, is known for having an elite work ethic in order to match his self-belief. When I was at uh, Manchester United and you think, who was that person who had a massive impact on the club while they were there? And, and you can't look no further than Cristiano. Um, and you talk about mindset. I don't know a stronger, more determined, um, obsessed player um, that I'd share the change room with. The perfectionism and attention to detail, mixed with discipline and routine that Ronaldo possesses, is a trait that is commonly associated with geniuses, as there is an understanding that consistent effort and practice is essential for mastery. Being in the spotlight since 18 years old, nobody should have more distractions than Ronaldo, but he has never ever stopped the main thing from being the main thing and his accomplishments are proof. Being a five-time Ballon d'Or winner declaring him the best player in the world, a five-time Champions League winner, winning the Euros with Portugal, and seven domestic titles across three countries amongst many more. When looking at all the players in football history who have been at the top of the game for 10 plus years, it's short. The next step to Ronaldo's genius is the amount of eyes he has on him. Ronaldo is the most followed person in the world on social media, and this is because of two primary reasons. The first being his playing style. Ronaldo is the football's translation of a freestyle rapper, especially in his younger years when he was a winger. The stepovers, the flick and tricks combined with his speed and goal-scoring prowess, has fans' eyes glued to Ronaldo, and this trickles down to off the pitch. A display of the top 10 most followed football players shows that Ronaldo has more than double the following of everyone on the list not named Messi. This is because by the time Ronaldo made his first post on Instagram on October 31st, 2012, he had already displayed all of the characteristics of viral football posts in 2023. TikToks and YouTube shorts of skills and crazy goals Ronaldo has already done, many times at the highest level to amass a following. The second reason Ronaldo gained a large following is being the centerpiece for the two biggest football clubs in the world. Football is the biggest sport in the world, and many consider it a surrogate religion, with the clubs they support being the thing they commit to most in the world, following them through the highs and lows, home and away. Two spells at Manchester United and nine years at Real Madrid made the bulk of Ronaldo's career, and these two clubs are arguably the biggest sporting teams in the world. Their historical success, filled with long-standing traditions of winning, helped gain a global fan base with the legends that came before them setting a standard of excellence enhancing the reputation of the club. Ronaldo being aligned with Manchester United and Real Madrid boosts his following by proxy as the loyal and global supporters of each team would want to keep track of their superstar player. With both Real Madrid and Manchester United both contending for the title of biggest club in the world. England, England is the most Who's the richest club in the world? Who's the most prestigious club in the world? Real Madrid. Who's the most known club in the world? Who's Man the United. Club in the world? Man United. Yeah. Man Real United Madrid. is the yeah, most known the club tree. in the no. no. Yeah. no. Real Madrid. You know Real Madrid. Who's the richest club in the world? Yeah. Real no, Bayern yeah. Munich. What are you trying to tell me? But my, it's Real Madrid. Madrid. It's Real Madrid. They, they own people. It's Real Bayern Munich doesn't own anybody. Real Madrid. But I'm saying, who's the most popular club in the world? Who? Man United! Now come on! The third stage of Ronaldo's genius life is in the form of his business prowess and marketability as an athlete. 
According to Forbes, Ronaldo is the highest paid athlete this year, earning a total of $136 million. And a lot of it has to do with his personal image. Ronaldo has shades of fictional character, Patrick Bateman, when it comes to his image, which allows him to have appeal to many brands. He's handsome and well-groomed with a physical fit and toned body, and his fashion consists of designer clothes and expensive watches. He is the epitome of women want to be with him, men want to be him. The genius in Ronaldo's image is that these specific qualities resonate with businesses and investors looking for brand ambassadors or partners. On the other side of business, Ronaldo isn't your typical athlete due to the diversification of his business ventures. He has invested in various industries, including fashion, fragrances, fitness, hotels, and real estate. By branching out into different sectors, he has not only expanded his revenue streams, but also minimized risks associated with relying solely on football-related income, overcoming a problem many athletes face across the world, further displaying his genius.